Yep. He disconnected. Dude, imagine he got banned. <gasps> Let's check his profile. Oh my god! He got banned! <laughs> that spitzer shot. Oh! Oh! Okay, can we get a clip? Can we get a clip? <laughs> oh, he went full blading, dude. Oh, okay, so it's this. Oh, it's this guy. That's oh. <laughs> Okay, hello YouTube. I am going to tell you everything that happened through the whole cheating situation in Hunt Showdown. I know it's uh, the the cheating situation has been a uh, pretty pretty hot topic, and uh, I have put a lot of time and effort into finding, catching, and getting cheaters banned. I know a lot of other people have uh, tried to speak for me and uh, explain things, but who better to explain it than me? You're going to hear it from me, and I promise all of the details, everything in this video is going to be uh, worth it to watch. So you're going to want to hear all this. So I've been streaming 12 hours a day, every single day for now. Uh, today is uh, the, the 213th day in a row of streaming 12 hours a day. This subathon has been insane. Streaming 12 hours a day. We found new and interesting things to do for 12 hours a day. One of those things was uh, spectating matches and looking for cheaters. I was looking for cheaters about six hours a day. For about six hours every day, we were watching matches at both six star and also some one star games in e nearly every region. A lot of Asia games. We were watching NA games. We were watching a little bit of Europe games. We were watching some Russia games. We weren't really watching OCE or South America, mostly because of the time that I stream. OCE and South America were pretty dead. Let's show the spreadsheet now. So here's the spreadsheet. This is actually not accurate, so don't don't look at that. Here's the number of games that I watched in each region. Here's the number of games that I was in that had a cheater in it. And here's the percentage of games that I watched that had a cheater in it. Asia had quite a few, literally 25% of games that I watched had a cheater in it in Asia, literally. These were the number of actual cheaters. So if there was a, a solo that was cheating, I added one number there. If it was a duo, then I added two. So that's the actual number of cheaters. This is how many people were extremely suspicious, but I couldn't actually confirm that they were cheating. So this is somebody, if I, I added a number here, if somebody was like really weird, but not blatant enough for me to confirm confidently that they were actually cheating. And yeah, that was from about uh, November 26th to somewhere in February. I stopped looking for cheaters somewhere, somewhere around February. So however many months that is, that's how many games we watched. 25% in Asia had a cheater in it. Detecting cheaters. It's one thing to fight somebody in game and tell that they're cheating. It's another thing to spectate them. You can spectate them and you can tell much easier if somebody's looking through walls or if they have information that they shouldn't have. But if you're fighting somebody, you don't, you're not able to see that, obviously. So there's a very big difference between spectating cheaters and actually fighting them. The people, that's mostly a, a response to, to the people that say, oh, I have 5,000 hours in the game and I've only ran into two cheaters. Well, fighting them and spectating them are two wildly different things. And I guarantee that you've ran into many, many cheaters without even knowing it. We've been in many, many, many games with this person. If you just look at any one particular clip, it might not be extremely obvious that they're cheating. But if you were fighting this person, you would have no clue at all that they were cheating. Looking straight through the floors, looking through everything. Staring through everything, yep. It's the fact that when we catch them, they're doing it not like one little thing a game. If if a player does something weird or a cheater cheater like they get a wall bang, you know that you can easily say, uh, you know, that happens. Right. But when they do it multiple times a game, when they do it constantly, when they're fighting, when they run directly across the map to, to a dead body just so that they can loot it with no indication that the body was there. Those are some signs. Are they going to know where all the dead bodies are? Watch them run directly to a dead body. So 
those are some signs that you can only see when you spectate people and that's why they get away with it i've reported this person at least three times with probably a dozen clips to crytek directly still unbanned still probably playing 35 hours in the last two weeks last played april 18th so fighting people and spectating them very very different things i have a six star account where i've done most of the spectating i have a one star account where we've also done some spectating and we've even found cheaters on the one star account there was one that was a brand new account so it was probably somebody that was cheating got banned jumped on a new account and continue to cheat and they get put into one star games because it's a brand new account the other guy that we caught was prestige 2 so they probably deranked and they got into one star games and they continue to cheat Hold on a second now. Hold on a second now. Hold on a second now. Hold on a second. That looks kind of weird to me. What the hell is going on over here? What happens when somebody gets banned in Hunt Showdown? Here's what happens. If you're on an account that gets banned, that account, you can't play Hunt anymore, right? Okay, that makes sense. But guess what? Guess what happens? People just jump on another account. You can buy a Steam account for between two and five dollars that already has Hunt Showdown on it. They don't make another account and buy Hunt Showdown for full price and then continue to cheat. What they do is they buy a Steam account that already has Hunt Showdown on it for two to five dollars and then they continue to cheat. What? <laughs> he got, he's bad. He got banned. For people that think the cheater situation is like some big money farm for Crytek, uh, that not really know. The way that account originated is probably for like through some fraudulent means. It's probably stolen credit cards or, or something. So I wouldn't even be surprised if Crytek like doesn't even get that money. Let's say somebody gets a bunch of codes for the game and they buy them with a stolen credit card. Well, that credit card is going to get reported as stolen or used fraudulently and then those charges are going to get reversed, right? So it's not like cheating is a big money printer for Crytek. At least that's what it seems like to me. So yeah, it's very easy, very, very easy for cheaters to come back. I've seen, I'll show you on the spreadsheet. Here's something I don't think I've really shown much. Here is the list of cheating accounts that I have saved. I made a spreadsheet where I just copy paste the Steam profile. I'll just open a few just to show you. When I caught a cheater, I saved it in this spreadsheet. And this, this, this one was 148 days ago. They got banned. This person, 148 days ago. So these are all accounts that I saved when we were catching cheaters. Take a, take a look at this one. This one right here, Wang Zai. IP ban doesn't work? No, because uh, they don't do that. They don't IP ban and hardware banning doesn't work either. A lot of cheats come with hardware ID spoofers. So this guy Wang Zai, we caught them many, many times. Yeah, here he goes. Here he goes, get ready to clip it. He's not shooting, he's not shooting AI, he's shooting players. Yep. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. When, when are you going to choose the right time? Is it now? It's now. <laughs> Now's the time. <laughs> there it is. With the same name on a brand new account that's only prestige zero level three. What are the what are the chances that this is not the same person? What do you do you, do you think they're cheating? What do you think? You think I don't know. Could they be cheating? They might I don't know if they're cheating. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. This one. Whew, this 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 is probably one of the biggest cheating people out there, and we're gonna talk more about them in a second because there seems to be a boosting service that this person operates. That looks familiar, doesn't it? That's just their, uh, that's what the Steam name was that they used. Yep, there's the, there they are again. There they are again. This spreadsheet that I have where all these uh, profiles are saved, I have 215 individual accounts that I was able to get. We'll get into actually attaining the profiles. This is just the profiles that I could get. So there seems to be different levels of cheaters. There is the super extremely blatant people who you can tell from 10 miles away are cheating. They're killing players across the map. They're killing players through terrain with ammo that shouldn't be able to do that. 
Look at this dually accuracy, goddamn. Look at this dually accuracy right here. Holy shit. Uh Yes. This is exactly who I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, clip. <laughs> okay. How'd we find him? We just got into a game. I didn't even... <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, good one, dude. Nice. It has to be so, so obvious that somebody that doesn't even know what cheating looks like would have to say, yeah, they're cheating. Like that, like that tracking, <laughs> that, that tracking. <laughs> This this tracking right here where he's locked onto somebody's f***ing head and see how he's looking exactly where a person is? Yeah, that would be a great clip. Is he, is he, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. He's going full blatant. He's going full blatant. All right, okay, okay, dude. Okay, we get it. We get it. Oh, scanning, checking. There's one. <laughs> And a two. And a three. <laughs> Keeps looking over in this direction. Let's see if there's someone over here. I told you. He keeps looking at this guy. He's looking exactly at him. There it is. You see that? Look at that. He's even tracking the jumps. He's even tracking the jumps, dude. He's tracking the jumps. Okay, does anybody think they're not cheating now? <laughs> Below that is people that are being blatant, but not extremely blatant. Killing people through walls. Definitely cheating, but not being extremely blatant about it. Okay, that's, uh, that's a little weird. Standing here and staring at the wall. Yeah, that's weird. That was weird. How did he... He ran to the perfect place to where, like, he could possibly peek the other team. He's cheating, though. He must see somebody necroing or something. Yeah, look at that! He sees the other person! There's people below that who are, in the cheating world, it's called legit cheating, where uh, they are pretending they're a normal player, but they're definitely, obviously cheating. They're sort of flying under the radar. Those people can be more difficult to detect if you're just fighting them. Hasn't checked a single thing. He's walking right up to something. I'm going to guess it's a player. He's going to walk right up to somebody. There you go. That lock on. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Below that is people that are obviously new to the game. People who can you can tell they don't know the game mechanics. They don't know the most efficient way to kill an armored. They don't know the most efficient way to kill an immolator. But when you spectate them, they're obviously cheating, looking through walls, and they have absolute perfect awareness of where other players are. Which is understandable. You see him pre-aim the shit out of that fing grunt though. Okay, so he is cheating! Oh! <laughs> oh, okay! So he is! <laughs> Incredibly easily find dead hunters. They don't have to they don't have to look around for him. Oh, big track. Look at the tracking, dude! <laughs> 
Yeah, you're shocked that he's this passive. Well, yeah, there, he's pro he's probably actually. Headshot. I go ahead and clip that. <laughs> the triple hip fire headshot on an emulator. Oh, okay. Okay. What the f was? <laughs> okay. Okay, go, go ahead. Go, go ahead. I bet there's a guy in that little tunnel thing. Or maybe to the right of the break in the wall. But in that little, that, I don't know what you call it. A little, you know, the thing. He's just trying to shoot him. He's in there. He's just trying to shoot him. Clip it. Somebody, okay, that, that. <laughs> he died. Somebody clip that. Somebody clip that. <laughs> We've caught multiple Prestige 100 players cheating. Who knows if they were cheating the whole entire time that they were playing or if they just one day decided to start cheating once they already got to Prestige 100, like maybe they got bored or something. But we've caught 10 plus Prestige 100 players cheating. He, he sure was tracking that guy before he was out of the bush, didn't wasn't he? He knew where... How's it going, Nixon? I didn't see jack shit right there. He's... <laughs> there we go. All right. Now... 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 We see... That account that I said in that spreadsheet, Wang Zai, they always use that same name. And what we would see is they that person Wang Zai would go into a game, super extra blatantly cheat, super obviously blatantly cheat, as obvious as it could possibly be, wipe out the whole server, probably usually with an auto Mosin in the first couple minutes, kill everyone in the server, and then the two other people that they were with, they would bring in either no weapons or something like a bomb lance to, to really quickly kill the boss or bosses. They would run around to all the dead bodies. They would pick up the weapons they want to keep, kill the bosses, pick up the bounty and extract within about, I don't know, five to eight minutes extract and do that over and over and over and over and over and the two people who were not wang zai were not rank 100 so they were still leveling up they were probably just trying to prestige boost and it's probably like just some boosting service that that person wang zai is running a lot of times people are like why would you cheat in hunt showdown it's so stupid right here's what we're about to witness this guy this guy that we're watching right now has no guns and the, this guy with the auto Mosin is going to murder everybody Hey, how about go ahead and clip that? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, just mill. <laughs> oh, you're dead. And everyone's dead now. It seems like I, I assume that what was happening was that person Wang Zai was probably making money by having a boosting service and the other people were pay probably paying them to boost. And those people probably got off scot-free because they they weren't actually cheating. And the person Wang Zai knows that they're going to get banned because every single person in the server reported them, right? And we've seen them on several different accounts. I don't know, a dozen or more accounts. They know they're going to get banned and they don't care. And like I said, the barrier for re-entry for a cheater is so low. It's between two and five dollars. So they don't care. I don't know what the f they would charge for a boosting service in Hunt Showdown. But let's say the other two people gave them 10 or 20 dollars each. And it, the barrier for entry to get back in on a new account is between two and five dollars. So he's still making money. So that I'm pretty sure that person's running a boosting service. Like I said, most of the spectating I've done was in Asia. 25% of games that I've spectated, 25% of games that I spectated in Asia had a cheater in it. Other regions aren't quite as bad. Asia definitely seems like it's super bad. And some people have said, oh, it's Asia. Of course it is. No big deal. Does that really not matter? Does it not? Do, there's no, there's essentially no region lock in Hunt Showdown. So why does that not matter? 
everybody i've seen people from every region say oh i have uh i saw a trio of asia players in my game and i'm from europe or i'm from na or i'm from us east i'm from us west and i've seen uh trio of asia players so even if it is a, a thing that is very obviously in asia that matters for everywhere <laughs> chris says I've heard uh, I've heard some people say um, they were trying to hide that they were talking specifically about me. But of course, we could tell that they were. Uh, I can tell that they were talking specifically about me because who else is watching games? Who else is streaming for 12 hours a day and also watching games and catching lots of cheaters? But I've heard people, specifically certain Crytek partners, try to criticize me and say, of course, he's going to catch a couple cheaters. He's watching games for 12 hours a day. Uh, well, no, I wasn't watching games for 12 hours a day. It was actually only about six. And even still, with the rate that we were catching cheaters, it's still ridiculous, no matter which way you try to frame it. And even still, I... <laughs> It's it's not even like a number of hours per day. The way if you look at the spreadsheet, the way that I tracked it is the numbers, the number of cheaters that I caught or the number of games that I was in that had a cheater in it. That is not related to any span of time. You could spectate one game per day and come up with the same spreadsheet because the way I did it was the number of games that I was in that had a cheater in it. It wasn't I caught this many cheaters per day. It wasn't uh, this is how many cheaters are in this region. It was how many cheaters, how many games I was in that had a cheater in it it's a very specific thing not related to any amount of time one of the criticisms that people had of me spectating games so much they they would say that i am adding to the cheater population by spectating games and watching cheaters to catch them they were saying that people were cheating more specifically so that they could get on my stream uh so in this whole time i was talking directly to crytek I was directly talking to a community manager at Crytek and I was giving them the profiles and clips of the people that were cheating. And I don't know what they were doing on their end to verify things. I assume they were, but then like I just showed, I had the whole list of cheaters. I would go back a few days later, check and see if the, that account got banned. And most of the time, most of the time they got banned, not all of them, but most of them. I didn't see the actual percentage of accounts that I reported to them that got banned, but it, it's a very high number, probably in the 90s. The way I was able to get these accounts, there used to be a thing that you could do with a file in your game, in your Steam folders, called the attributes file. In the attributes file, it had the information of everyone else in your game, no matter if they had their, their stats hidden, no matter if they had their profile hidden, no matter nothing. It doesn't, didn't matter if they had a box name, I could get their account most likely. So with the attributes file, there was websites like huntplayers.com, which I don't even know if it still operates, but the website hunt players was what I used to get people's accounts. I was able to put my attributes file into huntplayers.com and it would tell, it would give me all the steam names of the people that was in my game. I was able to take their steam name, search it on steam and there was their account. That's what I gave to Crytek. Not only that, a really cool thing that Hunt Players did was it also told you the common people that that person played with. It's a giant log of everyone's games, essentially, right? So it was able to see if you're playing in randoms. It was able to see if you're playing in invite games. So like inviting your two teammates to play. And if you did, it would say, here's the people that this person commonly plays with. So even if somebody had a private profile, a really common name, like let's say somebody's name is just, I don't know, some generic shit. If you go search on Steam right now, there's gonna be 20,000 different accounts that have that name, right? I could go search somebody and see their the people that they commonly play with and then search them. So I, a lot of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time, I was able to get the accounts of the people that were cheating through the attributes file. Well, it turns out they ended up disabling the attributes file. What was their actual reasoning for disabling the attributes file? Let's see from this community manager. We wanted to take a moment to provide an update around the removal of the match statistics from the attributes file with the most recent update. This was two months ago. We're aware that multiple websites and tools use this data as a core part of their functionality and will be impacted by this change. However, based on the growing concerns from the community, many of whom have expressed they are not comfortable with the stats being shared publicly online, we made the decision to permanently remove access to this file. We understand that these tools provide interesting information to some, however, the comfort and peace of mind for all members of the community must be our primary focus. 
Please note that we currently do not have any plans to add any new API to support the tools and websites that utilize this information. We know that this will be disappointing for some of you, but we hope that you can understand our reasoning behind this decision. Thanks. So that's why they removed the attributes file. This person is a community manager at Hunt Showdown. So they disabled the attributes file, which made it more difficult. I mean, obviously they're giving their own reasons. I, it, I'm not saying it was because of the cheater situation, but that's why they say they removed it. That definitely made it harder to catch cheaters. The attributes file was without a doubt one of the, one of the reasons why I was able to get so many profiles uh, banned. After that, I wanted to see if I was the actual reason why cheaters were getting banned. We were catching many, many cheaters and they were getting banned a few days after that. So maybe just out of chance, uh, you know, the system that they have in place already, maybe, maybe they were uh, getting caught and they were getting banned. So I continued to spectate games, continued to watch, continued to collect those profiles, check them several days after I caught them and none of them were banned. So the ones that I caught and reported, they were getting banned because of me. Those hundreds of players were getting banned definitely because of me. It's definitely one specific person. It was not a, I don't think it was a trend who repeatedly used the name huge.ttv and was super ultra blatantly cheating. They would kill the entire server from hundreds of meters away through cover and would, you know, kill everybody within a matter of seconds. Using the name huge.ttv every day they did this, I would get dozens of people in chat saying, hey, I just died to somebody who was using your name. The vast majority of people that came to chat because of that obviously knew that it wasn't me. There was there was the occasional rare person who actually did think it was me, but it obviously wasn't. But this person was cheating and I would get their profile one way or another. Either one of the people that died would give me their account or I would get it some other way and then I'd give it to Crytek. Here is me giving all of the profiles and clips to Crytek. Iceman was a, the senior community manager at Crytek. And you can see over the months, here. Oh, look, hey, look, it's Wang's eye. We, we, that, there he is. Over the months, we would catch them and we'd give them directly to Crytek. One day that the impersonating cheater uh, was back using my name, I told Crytek about it. As you can see here, here is the actual DM. Impersonating cheater is back. If this could be handled as fast as possible, that'd be fantastic. And there's their account. 24 hours later, they still weren't banned. So put yourself in my shoes and ask yourself, what would you do? You make a living off of streaming and playing a game and 24 hours, I feel is absolute ample time. So ask yourself right now, what would you do? What would you do if you were in that situation? 24 hours go by. So I made a public statement about it. I said 24 hours ago, I privately told Crytek about the cheater running around using huge.ttv as their name. They're still doing it, still killing their Crytek partners and creators, probably stream sniping them. You've had ample time. What's the holdup? After I made that tweet, the account did get banned an hour or two after that. They did get banned, but Crytek definitely didn't like it. How did uh, Iceman, the senior community manager, how did he respond to that? Call me out on social media again and I will block you and you can use the report system like everyone else. That is how Crytek responded to that. <laughs> and I said, uh, I'm not sure if there's some personal issue going on. I'm helping you ban the cheaters in your game. Is there any way we can have a conversation when neither of us are busy? I didn't get a response. That was the last thing they ever said to me. Yep. <laughs> and he's, I'm not saying I'm the reason. I'm definitely not. I never, I never shared this with anybody else ever. I never talked about this to anybody else. I never tried to report him. So I'm, def, I'm not, I am not saying that it's because of me, but he's no longer at Crytek. He's probably, he probably left for whatever other reason. I have no idea what that reason is. Just saying he's not at Crytek anymore. I continued to find cheaters on Hunt after that happened and cheaters are continuing. Like the, one of the criticisms was people are cheating because I am streaming cheaters, right? Well, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not spectating cheaters anymore, am I? And has the cheater problem gotten any better? No. So clearly I wasn't contributing to the cheater situation at all. I wasn't bringing more cheaters to hunt because I was 
showcasing how many there were. Cheaters are going to continue to cheat. They're probably going to continue getting banned. They're going to continue getting back into the game for between two and five dollars. There is one person at Crytek I want to thank. I'm not going to name them because I don't know if they want to be named, but there has been one person who, who has been extremely helpful when that whole thing with Iceman happened. There is one person at Crytek who was extremely helpful and very responsive. So thank you specifically to that person because they genuinely were very nice to deal with and they they were a complete opposite of what Iceman was. So thank you to that person. Hunt Showdown uses the free version of Easy Anti-Cheat, which is basically an open door for cheaters to come in and do whatever they want. And it's going to keep happening. And nothing right now is stopping it at all. That's everything. <laughs> I've never shown that DM before. Uh, that's been, whew, that was, that's been a, whew, oh my God. <laughs> I'm still doing the subathon. I'm still streaming 12 hours a day, every single day. So if you want to come watch the stream, you can go to twitch.tv slash huge and uh, you can join in. I haven't been streaming any spectating lately for the last couple months. So if you want to come in and watch me have some epic games of hell divers, then come on in the stream and we'll have a blast. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> hell divers time.